News 4 has learned the criminal investigation is focusing in part on the senator's ties to these two brothers, William and Roberto Isais. The Isaias brothers have been fugitives from their native Ecuador for more than a decade, sentenced in absentia for embezzling millions as the bank they ran there was collapsing. Officials say at issue, did Senator Menendez cross a line in trying to help the fugitive bankers stay in the U.S.? The Isaias brothers now live here in Coral Gables, Florida, running several successful businesses. They've never been charged in the U.S., but back home in Ecuador, they're wanted men. Back in the 1990s, outraged Ecuadorians took to the streets, demanding their money back after several banks collapsed, including the country's largest, Filanbanco, which had been run by the Isaias brothers. An auditor's report for banking authorities in Ecuador found Filanbanco lost hundreds of millions of dollars. In 2005, U.S. Ambassador Christy Kenney wrote a cable to the State Department saying the Isaias brothers absconded with $100 million and used their ill-gotten wealth to buy safe passage from Ecuador. The ambassador recommended the Isaias brothers be kicked out of the U.S. But to date, the Justice Department says Ecuador's government, which has been at odds with the U.S. in recent years, has not provided enough evidence to warrant extradition. Linda Jewell is a former U.S. ambassador to Ecuador. She says the fact that the Isaias brothers continue to live a life of luxury in the U.S. while their account holders are suffering in Ecuador has been a constant concern between the U.S. and Ecuador since their flight. In 2010, Ecuador had Interpol issue international arrest warrants. Their lawyer says the Isaias brothers are innocent and are appealing their convictions, didn't steal any money, and are victims of political persecution by Ecuador's government. And that is the problem of the Isaias, that they have committed the crime of being rich in a poor country. He says Phil and Banco was in fine shape until the government took it over. And he says the justice system in Ecuador is broken. Are you telling me there's no justice in Ecuador? Uh, for the Isaias, impossible. The Isaias will not get justice in Ecuador, not, not at all. Ecuador has seized many of the brothers' assets in that country, but so far, a Florida court has ruled against Ecuador's efforts to seize their assets here in the U.S. And for years, the Isaias brothers have been seeking permanent residence here. Officials say they turned to the powerful New Jersey senator for help. Multiple officials say Senator Menendez wrote letters and made phone calls to the Department of Homeland Security and the State Department in support of the brothers. The fact that the number of attempts he made to We asked the former head of the FBI in New Jersey whether such letters and calls would be considered normal practice. It's shocking. I think most people would know and would believe that it'd be appropriate to keep your distance from individuals uh, who are convicted of crimes in their homeland. On April 2, 2012, for example, officials say Senator Menendez wrote high-ranking Homeland Security official Alejandro Mayorkas asking the brothers get full consideration and that DHS expedite its review. Investigators say they want to know whether the senator attempted to influence immigration officials in 2012 in exchange for campaign donations. Reached by phone, Roberto Isaias told us that as a non-resident, he can't make donations to a U.S. campaign and that he does not have anything to do with any senator or politician. Federal election records show relatives of the Isaias brothers, who are residents, donated more than $10,000 to the senator's 2012 campaign. And those records show Roberto Isaias's family members also donated at least $100,000 to the Democratic Party in 2012. Scott Fredrickson prosecuted federal corruption cases for the Justice Department. If the government, when they look at this, can establish that in exchange for donations from uh, citizens not of this country, of gifts, that the senator took official action to benefit them, now, now we're talking something potentially illegal. So far, authorities have not filed any charges, and legal experts say it can be tough to prove that kind of case. But this government watchdog says it's not just a question of legality. For Senator Menendez, who is chair of the Foreign Relations Committee, 
um, to be involved in something that has a foreign component and might raise concerns about the national interest with other countries, this is an incredibly serious matter. She says the senator's relationship with Florida eye doctor Solomon Melgan, a major campaign donor, is also a serious matter. Federal investigators have searched Dr. Melgan's offices twice in connection with an $8 million Medicare billing dispute. Separately, they're looking into whether Senator Menendez improperly advocated for the doctor in that dispute. They're also looking into whether the senator acted improperly to help Dr. Melgan with a deal to secure a port security contract in the Dominican Republic. The senator has said he did nothing wrong and that he called Medicare to raise concerns about conflicting guidelines and supported the port security deal because it could help stem the flow of drugs to the U.S. Dr. Melgan, too, has denied any wrongdoing and is suing Medicare, alleging the agency has wrongly accused him of overbilling. Last year, Senator Menendez reimbursed Dr. Melgan $58,000 after news broke that he took three trips on Melgan's private jet, two of them to the luxury resort of Casa de Campo in the Dominican Republic. Senator Menendez has issued a statement denying any wrongdoing, quote, once again, we see anonymous sources making outlandish allegations. Our office works each year with literally hundreds of individuals and families from across the country who are seeking help with the immigration process. We review each and every request we receive, and if we feel any inquiry is appropriate, we make it. In this particular case, Senator Menendez believed the Isaias family had been politically persecuted in Ecuador, including through the confiscation of media outlets they owned, which were critical of the government. We were not aware of any inquiry into the senator's actions on this matter. Jonathan Deanst, News 4 New York.